Truth be told, okay, I came along with him in abusive home. Now I got so much ice on me that the booth is froze. Cause every yell is a lesson, never losing. Yo, I got paid. So insane. I didn't go, can't pick a lane. What's good, everybody? My name is Austin Simon, aka so I'm a rapper, slash teacher, slash father, slash husband, slash geek. Yeah, you know what it is. See Vegeta, see the pop, see me in anime form. Stop it. So today we're going to be doing a reaction to Jackpot, Akari Kenji, Jujutsu Kaisen by Enigma. Uh, look, uh, Enigma is, is awesome. Um, I it, He was the first uh, person that I've ever listened to that was a part of the Brazil geek uh, community. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I give a... Uh, a lot of uh i have a lot of respect for for this artist because he's he literally introduced me to uh this genre and you know it's in this genre as a whole is awesome and him as an artist is is awesome so um, i'm looking forward to this let's see what he has in store for us for this character and this show and yeah uh, so let's do this. But real quick, if you guys would like to listen to some of my music, there's a link in the pinned comment that'll take it to my most recent Nerdcore anime rap. It is a Shoto Todoroki song, and I think you'll enjoy it. All right, let's do this. Hey. Hey. I really like the beginning uh, melody. Da -na -na -na. That, that shit is sick as fuck. In fact, I really, really hope that he brings back this melody at some point because that's really, really catchy. Hey. Hey. Like, this shit just got that bounce to it. Very, tr you know, the beat is very trap, 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 trappy, and yeah, there's just a lot of bounce and, and enigma. Like, because when you get a bouncy beat, the cadence with your singing or rapping has to has to fit on there, has to add to the vibes, and that's definitely what's going on right now. Hey, 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 Okay. I really, really like the way that they did the do 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 because I think he put a um, I think he put a like a a low octave um layer in his in his vocals under the main vocals, but then it also hits with the beat really well. The doom doom like let, let, I, I got to hear that again to see if that's what he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so this part is sick. And the thing is that you uh that you can also pay attention to is like he's um emphasizing the the big parts. Like there's I think there's a part where he says something about domain expansion, but he has multiple layered voices on top of that. But then in other sections, it's not there. So anytime that he has a, a, a line that needs emphasis, he's putting more more vocals um, on, t on top of the main vocal there, um, which is a signature um, technique amongst rappers uh, when you want to make sure that one line has a lot of emphasis. <laughs> So with this hook, um, and I say this, a, I say this a lot in, in some of my reactions, especially like to Rustage. 
um, you know, for for the Brazil geek music fans out there, you know, if you wanna if you wanna get acquainted to nerdcore, um, I would I would uh, suggest listening to to Russage. But um, what he'll do sometimes is he'll just rap four bars and then rap that same four bars again for the hook, and that works. It works. It does everything that you needed to do. If it's, if you're saying something cool, then it's right there. But then also you have the repeat. And hooks are at their best when there's something repeated. So for this, it's a solid hook. It does what it's supposed to do. You know, something that, that can be repeated, and it's a nice little placeholder. It does what it's supposed to do. Is it the greatest hook that Enigma's ever made? No, but it's still solid. It's still solid. Yeah. He's punching the shit out of people. That's all I'm seeing throughout this entire AFB is just him punching the shit out of people. Okay. What's going on with this beat? Wait a minute. The, the little high synths? It just comes out of nowhere. That's not any in any other part in this beat. This has not come up in any other part of this song. Except right here. Knock it off. Why is where did this come from, dude? Oh, dun, dun, dun. That's so fucking sick. That's so sick. That is so sick. That is so sick. They added that melody in the last hook, dude. Yes, yes. I need to make sure that 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 wasn't in this one. I don't think it was. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Oh, that's so fucking sick. Oh man, like the the. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so yeah, no, this this song was amazing, and the thing is, like, the end, the end part, like the the last thirty percent of the song, is really what made it amazing, and I think it's it's, it's awesome because of that little that little beat part, little da 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 da. That oh, that adds so much hype to the song. It's like it was so random. She came out of nowhere to me. I don't know. Maybe maybe it, it did show up uh, at one point in the in the in the song before, but I just wasn't paying attention. But yeah, no, this was great. Um, like I said, the the hook was solid. The the verses were great. I really liked the intro. I think the intro was amazing, and I actually kind of wish that the intro melody was 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 used again. Um, I think that would have been sick. But I mean, either way, uh, the different sections of the song were cool. Like there was. So, like the beginning section was cool, the middle section there was something cool that happened, and the end section, a whole bunch of dope shit happened. So yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm like I said, I'm a fan of Enigma, and uh, I'm looking forward to more stuff from him. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.